So imagine that you've just built the coolest online shop ever, but no one is visiting it and no one can find it. Why? Well, probably because they don't know the online address of it. And that is exactly what a domain is for. It's basically like your home address, but on the internet. And whether you run a small business or a huge company, and no matter where you are or what you do, a domain is one of the most important things. So in this video, I'll walk you through how to buy your your domain and also talk about why you should definitely have one and why it's so important. So as I was saying, why is having a good and credible domain so important? Well, first off, it makes your company, shop, or personal brand, or whatever, look way more legit and trustworthy, and it's a lot easier to just remember it. And having a strong brand identity online is really super important nowadays, since most things happen online. Also, a solid domain name can help you rank higher on search engines, which is also really important as you definitely want to be up there on those search results when people look up your business. So with all of that in mind, when picking a domain, make sure to really, really think about it and not just pick some random one. A domain should be really short, really catchy, and really, really meaningful. Also, really think about which extension you're going to pick as the extension really signals what kind of business or website you are running. For example, if you're running a nonprofit, you should go with a .org domain. But if you own an e-commerce store, for example, then go for the .store store extension. So just really put some thought into this, brainstorm, and just pick what works best for you. And if you're just not sure where to start or lacking some inspiration, definitely try out Hostinger's AI domain name generator. Now this tool can be really handy and is really, really easy to use. All you have to do is just type in a short description of your project and you'll get tons of domain suggestions. All right guys, now that we've covered the brainstorming part, let's dive into the process of actually buying and setting up your domain on Hostinger. And I'm gonna do this whole process with you guys. So the first thing we're gonna do is just head over to Hostinger's Domain Checker. And also I'll leave a link for this in the description. So once you're there, just type in your desired domain name and see if it's available and not taken by someone else. If it is taken, you can always just tweak it a little bit or try different options. And once you've picked a domain that is actually available, then choose which domain extension you want. Now I've talked about this a bit earlier, but just to explain a little bit further, the most popular extensions are generic top level domains like .com and .net, which you've all heard of before probably. But if you want something more specific, you've literally got so many options out there. So as I already said before, really do your research here and think about it hard. But anyway, once you've actually decided on your domain name and extension, all you have to do is just click buy now right here below your chosen domain name, and then you will be taken to choose the billing period. Now you can choose however long you want the domain for, it's your choice, but just keep in mind that the longer you register the domain for, the better deal you will be getting. And it's really is way more worth it money wise to choose the longer period. And also guys, when buying your domain through Hostinger, it includes free domain privacy protection, which is really important, but most domain registrars offer this feature as an add-on for some extra money. So I would say it's a pretty good deal here. All right guys, now once the payment has gone through, you'll be redirected to the registration page right here. Now here, just fill in your information and contact details and click finish registration. And then you'll land on the domain overview page where you'll be given 14 days to verify your domain ownership. Now, this is really, really simple to do. All you have to do is just go check your inbox for an email from the registrar and click the verification link. And if you can't find that email, just go back to the domain overview page and resend it after double checking your contact information because I mean, maybe you entered the wrong email. And after that's done, your new domain will be successfully registered. So congrats for that. And now just one last thing to mention before we wrap up this video is that 
that you can manage or update DNS and all other things concerning your domain, such as privacy protection, directly through HPanel. Now, to access this, just log into your HPanel, then click Domain and choose Manage next to your domain. And here you'll see the privacy protection is just on by default, but you can disable it at any time if you want to. Also, you can enable auto renewal here to prevent any downtime or accidental expirations just to be safe. So, I mean, it's really easy to do and really easy to access. And now you are all done and you officially own your own domain. And I really hope this video helped you out. And if you have any questions whatsoever, just leave them in the comments down below. Also, if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button and subscribe to Hosting Your Academy for more helpful content. But now thank you so much for watching once again, and I will see you in the next video.